Hi, I'm Paul Toll from Polatol.com and I'm going to show you tonight that Safe City Rome works with a Mac. Well, first of all, this is my website with all kind of cool stuff, like uh, all kind of cool games. Um, got uh, even a section for DOS games and M6 games for the Mac. But most of all, most important, the list of all the PC games. Well, I've got uh, a whole list with uh, a lot of free games even also. Um, well, we're going to focus tonight on... Um, Uh, strategy. Oh, here. Adventure, uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary Install Guide. Uh, if you click on it, then you got uh, this um, this um, thingy, this uh, page. You download on a wrapper up here. You'll see uh, you're in a corner that you download a Tomb Raider zip file. Um, no, we were. <laughs> This is not a game. Um, list full for the games. Uh, we're gonna do a uh, Civ City uh, tonight. So um, we have to see Civ City on strategy. What's up here? I'm a little bit confused because uh, I did two ports tonight and I'm quite tired. So Civ City Rome here. All right. Uh, you click on um, here. Angel download the wrapper up here. So download the file and then um, you got um, this, uh, you got a zip file, you extract it, you got an icon file like this. Um, already installed the game in this file, so I show package content. You only have to double click it and you get uh, this screen. And then you have to put your DVD in a drive of the Civ City ROM. Or you can, uh, or if you have the games Git version, which I have which works out of the box with no CD patch needed because um, if you have the DVD version you probably need a no CD patch um, yeah so uh, remember that that you um, if, if you use a no CD uh, the DVD version you do need a no CD patch in most cases so I, um, I didn't try it out yet but um, probably you do need it so um, um, but for uh, the games git version, it uh, works out of the box. So uh, my uh, advice is, um, well, it's only a six foot ninety five, and then you have the legal version of the game. Um, I got it also from Gamesgate. So um, download a file, and then you have uh, this uh, this file, and then um, you click on install Windows software, and you click. Uh, a Download the files and you use that uh, download um, download the city version. So um, you take the download the city ROM, you click choose, and then the, you need you to put in your uh, uh, account um, uh, info, your username, your password, and it will download uh, the Civ city game. It will take a while because it's uh, like uh, I think two gigs or something. So um, when it's uh, downloaded, uh, the installation will start immediately. Um, after installation, um, the game will uh, uh, will install. So um, the installation will take a while, like about uh, five minutes, I think. And after installation, then um, it will uh, well, it will ask you to uh, to delete the, the temporary internet files. Well, I advise you to do so because otherwise it will take some unnecessary space uh, on your uh, hard drive. So just delete it. Um, then the installation will exit and will ask to set the main exit file. And the main exit file will be, um, if I look at here, it will be yes, Civ City Rom .exe. So put this to Civ City Rom .exe, and then um, that would be um, sufficient uh, for uh, the game to run. Well, if you do so, um, I will show you in a minute. Then uh, the uh, there will be an uh, an config file uh, which you have to configure. And um, well, I will show you it now. Um, if you run the run it for the first time, um, it might uh, be that uh, well, in the most cases, it will uh, crash the first time. The reason why is that. Um, 
the Mac has a uh, uh, open file limit and it's a, a, a standard set on 2000 open files um, but to this game and stronghold tool so needs at least uh, about 10,000 uh, open files so that um, well um, the the main situation uh, uh, yeah won't uh, won't allow the game to run but the wrapper will uh, put it to 10,000 but it need to restart first so um, the game will crash but after that you need to restart your system and after you restart the system it will just run out of the box with no problems so it's um, another reason to panic that the first time it crashes but um, that you just know it uh, the reason why it's because of the open files well um, let's start um, I double click on um, oh one more thing um, you need to, to set two wine tricks and uh, I will show you how to do that click on advanced go to tools click on wine tricks and one of the most important things is that you um, install the core fonts just click on core fonts and then click on run and then uh, well it will download all kind of fonts files and it will um, install it uh, when that's finished you go to DirectX 9 and run that one also so when those two are, are run um, then you're ready to set and then you click on quit you double click on the file and uh, let the fun begin um, you will see it now it will set a config file if you have the DVD version make sure you use of your patch it to the uh, version 1.1 um, advice is to keep the always show this dialog on because then you can always uh, set some uh, settings uh, if you try some things out um, well I have the resolution of 1024 768 on uh, 30 bits um, very important is the shader tab make sure that bumping mapping isn't selected so this is the way it should be you can also uh, do bloom but well uh, it's not necessary so well let's see if it works I'll click on play um, you will see uh, probably uh, the screen uh, in the corner here about here but um, it's a screen flow doing it so uh, you will see it full screen and I see it full screen so because screen flow doesn't handle screen resolution changes very well okay well, for you, the first time it will crash like about here, almost at the end. So um, then you have to restart your system. And then, uh, well, it just works uh, as, uh, as it will do uh, with me. Hail citizen, I am Gaius Petonus, master. Yeah, right. I'll click play. Your first task as a new governor is to choose a good position for your town center. This is where people will arrive to look for jobs in the new city. Uh, commerce. 
Your first task as a new governor is to choose a good position for your town centre. This is where people will arrive to look for jobs in the new city. Around the map, move the mouse point to rotate yeah. as news. Finally, place some basic the city happiness. New arrivals begin. As city happiness is such a key, here you can see all the factors which influence houses grow in stature. Clicking on it. one point, remember the better the house. One point to remember is that each house only has a limited range. Its citizens will go and collect the goods they need. Citizens will remember the better the houses are able to clicking on it. the laurel wreath. While you're, it costs. Click on it. Empire researched. There are several different enemies will attack in different regions of the empire, and your tactics will have to adjust to accommodate new enemies. Combat can also. It is strong. After the campaign, the single mission screen will allow you to play the style of mission you enjoy at a difficulty level you're happy with. Some missions have economic goals such as collecting resources, raising a city's civilization level, or building wonders, whilst others have a more military outlook and some have no goals at all, allowing you to build peacefully for as long as you want. Governor, your mission is a success. <laughs> 